there are good documentary stories everywhere you turn. They're, they're everywhere. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you'll miss out on them. I hear a lot of people saying, I don't know how to find good stories or I don't know where to look. But you might just be missing out on a few key steps in order to help to find the stories that are right there in front of you. So we're gonna break that down. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to see the world with a storyteller's eye, with that documentarian perspective. And you're gonna begin to notice how many incredible films there are around you just waiting to be made. So let's get into this. I wanna encourage you just before we get into this, you may be starting out in your career, maybe you've been going for 10 years, and maybe you haven't felt like you've made that film yet. It is absolutely possible for you. The stories are there and you have a unique perspective and you have a unique presence of showing up in life that is meant for certain stories. Cause it can be frustrating as a creative and you still feel like you haven't made that film that you're meant to. So to get in this, we're gonna talk about what, where, and who. This is the system that I apply to find my stories. And right now I'm trying to find my next documentary idea. I've finished a few features over the past few years, a couple of short films, and now I'm trying to find that next idea. And there's a few brewing, but let's go through these steps. And with this what, where, and who, that's kind of the order I go about it, but these are interchangeable perhaps for how you wanna approach. But let's first start with what. Why this question is so key is without defining the what, the what kind of story you wanna tell, what themes you wanna identify, what question you wanna ask, without knowing that, there is almost too many options. And this is why you're not finding stories is you don't know what to look for because you're looking at everything. I will literally sit down with a pen and paper and ask myself, what ideas have I been thinking about lately? What stories are in the cultural context and zeitgeist right now? And with that, you begin to break down themes. But for me personally, the key is that I'm looking for what ideas am I exploring? What I mean by this is every film has that deeper layer. You look at a film like The Deepest Breath. It wasn't just about free diving. It was looking at that tension between romance and danger. When you're putting your life on the line for an extreme sport that you're passionate about, but you're doing it with people that you love. That's kind of like fire on love, fire and love, fire and love. Hey, that's cheating. Fire of Love, the historic film about the two lavaologists, the volcanists, volcanoologists. But a very beautiful film, I believe another National Geographic film. But again, looking at the romance and when people find passionate for something dangerous. Another great example of this is The Mission. I haven't seen it, but I've been reading about it. It explores that naivety, maybe delusion and faith when those two ideas collide. And if you're not sure about these ideas, it might mean that you're not having these conversations in your day-to-day -day life. This is why the most interesting filmmakers don't talk about gear because gear won't help you find a story. They're not talking about tech specs or the latest Sony camera. They're sitting down and having real conversations with real people about ideas. So if you wanna find a good documentary story, get your piece of paper down and begin writing themes and ideas, anything at all. Try to write 30 down and begin narrowing down what you're most interested in and perhaps what people are talking about right now because the film will be more relevant to the conversation occurring in society. Yo, 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 yo. Hi, even if you find a documentary story, you need a camera to shoot it. That's why we're giving away one of these. This is the Sony FX3 with the Sennheiser MKE 400. And we're adding a Sigma 24 to 70 on it, putting it all in this Nindo case and giving it away to one amazing person. And that's because we're reopening the doors for the art of documentary. We know a lot of people missed out joining our academy in September. So we're doing a flash sale for Black Friday because we've been hearing a lot of you getting all the emails saying, I want in. So we're doing that and to celebrate, we're giving away an FX3 documentary package as well as over $10,000 worth in prizes. So how do you do that? Well, we got the details down below, but you got to follow us on Instagram, theartofdocumentary.com, like this post and tag two of your filmmaker friends who you want to join Art of Documentary. AOD is an incredible academy full of thousands of filmmakers from all around the world. I'm always talking about it on this channel because it's one of my favorite things I've ever gotten to do and seeing people tell these stories from all walks of life and from all perspectives has been the coolest thing I've ever been a part of as a filmmaker. And we want to get more gear into more people's hands. We've already given away an FX6 this year, an FX3 earlier. I think we've given away two other FX3s last year. We just love getting gear into people's hands so they can go tell the stories that are on their heart. And so you can enter into this and win that camera. 
this camera. So go give us a follow on Instagram, join our waitlist over on theartofdocumentary.com, and let's get back to the tutorial. And just take some pressure off yourself too. These themes you're exploring will change and adjust as you make the film. You're gonna to begin to meet people and see a greater story. We screened a film here that Eric and his team made with Steven and Gene that they've been working on for two years with photographer Joe Greer. And I don't wanna give away too much, but we had an amazing collection of filmmakers and YouTubers here. And we all got to screen that film. And what Eric explained is what they had tried to make in the beginning was not what they ended up with in the end. And that's part of documentary filmmaking, is there's themes you begin to explore, but they begin to reveal the deeper story and what you didn't see on the surface. And that is so much fun. It takes more work, it means you have to adjust your approach, but it makes for a better film because it is steeped in truth, it is often encased in pain, but there is beauty at the end of that as a filmmaker. And man, did they pour themselves into this incredible documentary project, and I cannot wait for them to begin to release it to the world. And Eric and the team, thank you for screening it for us. It was a joy to get to watch it, chat through it, work through some feedback, and get to hang with an incredible group of creatives. Next, where? This is the key question. Where do you find these ideas? Well, quickly in my experience, reaching out to journalists is a great way to find these. Journalists have to turn over stories weekly or daily. They can't always stay with something for the course of a few years, like a documentarian has the advantage of. So I sometimes will reach out to journalists and ask, is there a story that you'd like to go further in depth? Perhaps, would you like to be a producer on this film? How can I come alongside you to tell stories that you haven't had the chance to sit with longer? My film, 58 Hours, we had so many journalists in that and their perspectives and their research was crucial to making that film. I could not have made it without them. Another thing is setting up Google Alerts. There's themes and ideas that you're looking for and you can find news articles that have these ideas or these issues that you're looking for. And then within those news stories, you begin to identify people. But truly the best way that in my experience, I've found stories is actually getting my feet on the ground in a new place, getting myself immersed in a new community, meeting new people, picking up the phone and reaching out to people and asking them questions around the themes that I'm exploring. And I begin to find people who are passionate, who also are exploring that, who perhaps have a goal in mind in their life that they are trying to achieve. And this is where I begin to find those stories where you begin to realize and make those connections of, I wanna look at a film about responsibility of fathers and hey, it's cool, these guys are tornado hunters. There's a film idea, you can begin to make it. Coming up in the next months, I have some trips planned. I'm going to be going to some countries to explore some ideas. I'm always fascinated with people asking a bigger existential question of why they're here, where their life, where their faith interacts with their priorities. And so there's, I don't wanna give away too much with the films I'm looking for, but I'm going to some of these countries and gonna be meeting with people who are in the midst of those perhaps crises in their lives who are interested in being filmed. Which leads me to my next question. Who? Now, you don't always have to make a film just about one person, but you will likely need people in your film. A film is more interesting when there's a central character, but you can make a film about a theme and have different people talking about that theme. That said, how do you find these people? Well, like I said, if you're going through the articles and you're literally finding the people that you can reach out to, that's one way. But I find getting to that country, getting to that community and meeting those people face to face is so important because here are the three rules I find when I'm choosing someone to be in my film. Are they accessible? Can I actually reach out to them? Can I get a hold of them? Can they talk to me? Can I meet them in person? Can I film them regularly? This will all be very important when I wanna make the film. The next question is, are they passionate? Do they actually want to accomplish something? Or are they extremely passive in life and perhaps if I try to make a film about them achieving a goal, it just might not happen. That's why when you go back to a film like The Deepest Breath, the main characters in that film were trying to break the world record. They are passionate. They want something so deeply. The film, the mission, the main character wanted to go reach the most unreached tribe, the most isolated tribe in the world. And so there you have a film again, someone who has a deep passion. Whether or not it's a tangible passion that can be achieved or whether it's even an appropriate passion, that's another question you can ask yourself, but that also makes for an interesting film. Passion is so, so, so key. And then bonus things for your characters is are they articulate? Can they express themselves? Are they willing to express themselves? If they're not, this can be challenging when making your film because you'll have someone who can't show that deeper journey that's going on inside their heart and mind and soul. And then perhaps just as important, 
is are they in the midst of this journey? If it's happened in the past, do you have footage that you can show that journey? But are they actually in the midst of this journey? Because that's more engaging when you can come alongside someone and tell the story in the present time. Like Navalny, that film, I got to see that at Hot Docs. That was amazing. You're in the room when Navalny is making the phone calls to the Russian government and they're spilling the secrets of how they actually tried to kill him and they shouldn't have been. But the filmmaker was there in the room filming when it was happening. This takes time. It takes you getting into a space, it takes time building relationship with a character. But man, is it rewarding. So leave your questions below. Let me know what films you're exploring what themes you want to wrestle through. We're going to be reopening the doors actually on Black Friday for our Art of Documentary community. This is a great place to wrestle through those themes. It's a great place to meet other people who don't just want to talk about gear. They want to talk about more enlightening things in life perhaps or deeper themes or deeper ways of wrestling with issues that they want to put in their films and perhaps you want to put in your film. This is how you'll be a better filmmaker because those themes, those ideas, those deeper questions will be the foundation of the good storytelling that you're meant to to make. Awesome. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, goodbyes.